Ugh. Huh? Ugh. Surprise! Gah, what the? Hey, let me go. What, 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 what's going on? This one is restless. Perhaps I could fix that. With what? A boring old lullaby? What he needs is a show, a grand performance. What? No, 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 I, I... Stop. No one will hurt him. Not yet. We still don't know why he is here. And what he is. What? Well, I'm here because I took a job. And I'm Golden Freddy. I was the original Freddy. The first in a long line of animatronics from Scott. Afton? No, I wasn't made by this Afton person. I'm much older than that. Oh really? How about we test that by taking a look under the hood if you know what I mean. What? No, I would rather you not. I can't open my face like you weirdos. Let me get a closer look at him. Well, he is made of spring locks. Wowie zowie, you are just a fuss in a museum, aren't you? Oh wow, thanks a lot. But that's not possible. No one has spring locks nowadays, except... Hmm. All right, we can trust him for now, but keep an eye on him. Ah, but me and Bon Bon wanted to put on a puppet show. Release him. What a party pooper. Thanks, I think. Baby, right? What's going on? The last thing I remember was the elevator crash. And now I'm here. I remember I said I wanted to help you. So why didn't you believe me? Don't take it personal. Trust is something hard to come by down here. But everything I told you earlier was truth, and we do need help. With escaping, right? Well, I'd like to do that. But why? You guys have a restaurant, a good business it seems. I wish my crew had that. Wrong. It is not a good business. You have no idea what we have gone through. What do you mean? That Ennard creature? Mr. Afton, our creator, he did something bad to all of us. We had to endure torture, all of us, to get into the bodies we are in now. You don't realize how much pain went into us. This whole pizzeria is a kingdom of torment. You mean, you have all... Killed? Yes. It wasn't our choice. There's something bad in all of us that make us do the things we do. When we dared question Afton's actions on this matter, we were punished. We had to collect the children for his experiments. If we could escape, we could get away from Ennard. If we could escape, we could get away from Afton. If we could escape, we could be good. We need to get back to the surface, but only you have the authority to get up there with Helpy. But if you could let us in there with you, let us into the office, we could escape with you. Okay, the elevator is broken. And if we get it working again, what about Ennard? Wouldn't he just try to stop us? He already tried killing me with the elevator. Surprise! Birthday boy! What? Ennard is coming. Hide. Line up, one by one. I have an announcement from Afton. We have a new technician in the house. He's a bear animatronic and he's fled the elevator. If you see him, I want you to bring him straight to me or Afton. Why? What did you say? Because Afton wants to speak with him and we can't have him wandering around on his own. Is that a good enough answer? But, it's lies. What 
the fuck did you just say? Why are you questioning me? If you question me, you're questioning Afton. That's something you know pisses him off. And you're all familiar with what happens when you piss Afton off. Enough of your questioning. Afton won't take kindly to this behavior of yours. You're coming with me, and you'll be a shining example to the others. Baby, where is he taking her? Oh no! I can't tell him! Bon Bon, you do it! Probably the scooper. Ah, not the scooper! What's wrong with him? I'm sure Baby told you the scooper isn't a phrase that goes without weight around here. But if we were to escape, we need Baby. You're the only one with access to the offices and such. Could you help her? Okay, I will. Baby, my sweet daughter, why must you irritate me so? I just wanted to know. I, I, didn't, I don't mean to, Daddy. Really, I don't. <laughs> if that's the case, then why do you do such things? Questioning my requests and arguing with Enid. I wasn't arguing. I, I just, I wanted to know what, why you have so much fixation on this bear. Is it because he's made of spring locks? Just like... Enough! Is that why you kidnapped him and tied him up to questioning him on escaping? Am I so bad that you would run away from me? I... um... No! I, I just don't understand. I want to be by your side. I always have. But you gave my position to Enid. But I, I thought I was special. You are my sweet daughter. But the reason you are not worthy of being at my side is because you pull shit like this. Enid is setting an example. He does as he is instructed to, and he does it well. Now, luckily, you have started a bond of trust with this Golden Freddy. I could use that. I want to use your friend's status into getting him into the scooper. He's not even a single being. He's a molded mess of souls that you made us kill. <clears throat> I knew that one day you would start to question your loyalty to me. I made you different to the others. I made you have more of an ability to think, more to be a leader. But it seems I need to tighten my grip on you. And you will do exactly as instructed. Earn it! Wait. Daddy, please. I, I, I'll be good. I, I'll be good. I promise. Wait, no, please, not this. Uh, anything. I'll do anything. You know what I want you to do. Prove yourself to me and be by my side. Do this task and I'll grant you all you have ever wanted, my sweet daughter. Of course. I will. I promise Goldie will be in the scooper by week's end. That's a good girl. <laughs>